Hey, and welcome to the fifth tutorial in this 3D modeling series. Today we'll be learning how to use the eye scan together with an iPad to scan objects that we've made in the real world ready for 3D printing. Step one, make your object. You can make an object out of cardboard, clay, anything else that you like. The fantastic thing about scanning an image rather than making it on a computer is that you'll get all of these fantastic rough edges, all of the textures of the material and the hand of the maker in the object that you've produced. It's best to stick to the dimensions of from about 20 by 20 centimeters to up to 3 by 3 meters. It's best to make a shape with sealed edges if you want a very accurate scan. However, if you leave parts of the object open or with thin edges, it will possibly turn out some glitches or other interesting readings from the scanner. So that can also be an interesting way to approach this project. Once you've made your object, the second step is to come down to the makerspace and borrow an eye scanner and an iPad. With this scanner, we can walk around our object and scan it from all different sides and it will knit together a 3D image of the object that we can turn into an SDL file. The scanner clips onto the back of the iPad and aligns with the camera. The clip secures it to the iPad and we plug it in on the side. The next step is to open the app and locate your object within the highlighted box. You can shrink or enlarge the box to make sure your object fits fully inside. The next step is to press play and begin recording your object. You will need to move all the way around the object to make sure that it's scanned all sides and it will give you a warning at the bottom if you're moving too quickly. Once you've walked all the way around your object and scanned every side and you're finished, press next on the right hand side. Within the app, you can live edit the scan by cropping, erasing or solidify the entire object and it'll be ready for printing. Once you've done some editing, you can move to the next page where it allows you to make some trims or touch up any edges that you're unhappy with. Once you've finished editing your object, press next on the right hand side, save it under your student name and number and your STL is ready. Once you've saved and uploaded your STL file from the iScan, you can print it immediately or you can edit it further within FormZ. The print that you can make can be used as a prototype as it is. It can be used as a component for a larger project. It can be used as a cast for a slip casting for ceramics. It can be given to somebody to forge into any kind of metal. So this is a very malleable object once you've printed it. You'll see that in the object that we 3D printed, it has all of the textures of the original object, which you would never get by digitally designing this. The 3D print that we've ended up with is a totally unique shape, which is a combination of analog and digital techniques through the scanner and the use of 3D modeling.